Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us for the Ready Aim Hire virtual hiring event. Today, we will be transitioning into small group discussions with the employers that we do have on the line. To go into how the small group discussions will be formatted, again, these will be held as one continuous session, and you will be able to move freely between the rooms for the employers that we do have on the line. I do want to make a quick note that today's session is being recorded and will be made available on the Illinois WorkNet YouTube channel for you to refer to later. Of course, if there's any um, you know, presentations or information that you want to reference before filling out those job applications, you'll have access to that recording again within about 48 hours of the conclusion of this event. Additionally, I do want to make note if you did register for this event, of course, as a job seeker, I will be forwarding your information uh, to the employers that we have on the line, of course, post event as well. So a few things that I want to go ahead and direct your attention to before we go ahead and open things up here, just a few things I'd like to share with you all. Again, you'll see on the screen here, you'll want to make sure to download the most recent version of Zoom client for meetings if you have not yet done so. Uh, if you are experiencing any issues, joining a breakout room, moving between breakout rooms, it could be uh, that you are running an outdated version again of this add-on, which is the Zoom Client for Meetings download. If you need to hop off the session to download that, if you're having trouble again, joining rooms, moving between rooms, you can absolutely do so. I'll keep an eye on the waiting room and make sure that you're let back in. The link that you'll want to follow to find this is zoom.us slash download. I do believe it should be the first or second uh, item available for download when you go to that page. Next slide that we have is just some basic kind of instru instructional slides here for you. So you will see here a screenshot of the toolbar. When I open up the breakout rooms for today's event, you will see an icon in your toolbar as I have there highlighted in the red square. What you'll do to enter a breakout room is click on that icon. It will then open up a window, which you see there in your second, or on the second screenshot, excuse me. You'll see there, navigate back to that, my apologies. You'll see there in that second screenshot in that window, there'll be a complete listing of all the employers that we have on the line and available for you to meet with. What you'll do is hover to the right hand side of that window. You'll see I have outlined there in that red circle, it says join, you'll click join, and then you'll be redirected to uh, the respective room that you'd like to join. Now, how you move between rooms is you literally just rinse and repeat that same process. So what I, might, what I mean by that is you'll move your cursor, it should pull up the toolbar and zoom. You'll see that breakout rooms icon again, click on that, it'll open up the window again. And then all you'll do is click join for the next room that you'd uh, like to join. And then again, just rinse and repeat that process for as many employers as you'd like to meet with. Uh, I will have these instructions on screen as well during the live event. So you'll have them to reference as well. Just a quick overview slide here. Again, you know, the format of today's event is gonna be small group discussions. We'll have an employer rep, of course, assigned to each uh, designated breakout room to conduct those small group discussions with you. Uh, we will not have a member of the planning team in these rooms for today, but we will have people floating between rooms to make sure that everything is um, taking place smoothly. Again, uh, we are gonna aim for a 40 to 45 minute session for our first uh, round here. Again, as I explained to the employers and the organizers, based on the amount of turnout, engagement and discussion we have, we may be holding a second session as well, but we will determine that once we get to the end of the first session. And again, a point that I really wanna highlight for the folks on the call here is you'll see as a job seeker, you are allowed to move freely throughout all the rooms. And once you enter a room, you will be able to unmute yourself, uh, turn your camera on, so on and so forth. Just a few ground rules here that I'd like to cover with you all before we open things up. Again, just be mindful of the amount of employer's time you're taking, especially if there's other job seekers in the room with you. If it's just you and the employer, obviously not as applicable, but just be mindful if you do have other folks in the room, ask your question, receive the response. If you can please mute yourself and allow other individuals the same opportunity, that would be fantastic. 
Again, you are welcome to show your video and camera, but just keep things respectful. Make sure you know you keep things professional as well. Second rule there, if you opt to be disruptive for whatever reason or consider it, the employers in the room will have the ability to mute you if need be. If you choose to disregard the warning, you can be permanently placed on mute. And then the last point there, you'll see if that does happen, uh, you'll still be allowed to stay on the session, but you will only be able to ask questions through the chat feature and they will respond to you as time permits. Again, if you cause or choose to use the chat to cause further disruption, uh, the employer will have the ability to eject you from the session altogether. And if that does uh, occur for whatever reason, you will not be permitted re-entry per a Zoom policy. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and delve right into the breakout rooms here. I am gonna go ahead and list off who we do have on the line um, for you all to meet with today. I do believe we have DCFS on the line with us, IDHS with us, US Fish and Wildlife Services as well, and Royal Publishing, as well as Spoon River College. Those are the folks that I have at least thus far. Uh, Alice, I did see your message in the chat. Can you please let me know who it is that you are here on behalf of? I want to make sure I get you to the right room. And Alice, if you can unmute yourself and let me know, that'd be fantastic. Okay, I see you. City of Macomb? Yes. Okay, fantastic. Give me just one moment here. I'll get you at it there. All right, folks, a few other things that I wanna go ahead and note here before we open things up. There will be a timer in the room that you'll see as well. Uh, in the upper right-hand corner, it'll let you know again how much time is left in the session. So keep an eye on that when you're in the rooms. Uh, I've also set a 60 second countdown timer. So what that means is once we get to the last or final minute, uh, in the breakout room session, there'll be a 60 second countdown timer that'll flash on the screen, just letting you know there's a minute left before the session will close. Uh, so if you are in the midst of a discussion with either a job seeker or an employer, um, just know that that's kind of your warning, if you will, that it's time to kind of wrap things up before we head back into the main session, uh, which we are in currently at the moment. Other than that, I'm gonna make a few other adjustments here real quick and make sure that we're only showing the employers that have rooms that are currently on the line so we don't have any confusion. All right, and one more time, I'm gonna name off the employers that I have on the line for you all today. So we have DCFS, IDHS, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Services, Royal Publishing, Spoon River College, and City of Macomb. So those are the employers that we have on the line currently for you to meet with. If we do have other employers join mid-session uh, and we do intend to move forward with the second session, we'll make sure to add them to the second round. And those rooms are now currently open. You should be able to move to them as you see fit. And Zach, I see you're still in the room with us. You should have got, there we go. Okay, so we do have all of our employers in the rooms now. Feel free to join those rooms if you are job seekers. I will go ahead and put these instructions back on screen for you to reference as well. If you are having issues joining a room, feel free to message me in the chat and I will get you sent to the room that you'd like to go to. Thank you.
So I just had a question. <laughs> Hi, Courtney, how can I help you? So um, there's no one in my breakout room. Do I just sit and wait for someone to maybe pop in or I just- That isn't, yeah, of course. Yeah, no, that's entirely up to you, Courtney. Uh, we'll okay. Obviously keep whatever you'd like to do in mind. Um, I will say we did have about 30 or so folks that registered for the event. I did send out about three email blasts this morning to get them to- <laughs> Okay. join the session but of course um unfortunately so far at least we're not seeing heavy attendance so um, okay I totally just, up to I, you. I, just, you can, I just wanted to be sure i uh yep i was just yeah, i no. felt bad i was like well uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah so no it's totally up to you courtney if you'd like to stay on you're more than welcome to if you have to hop okay off. i'll probably stay on for a little bit longer to okay. see if anyone else joins but if not i'll probably hop off it is my day okay. off so i <laughs> yep. no worries so uh whenever you decide to do so just if you could please just let me know either through the yeah. chat or just you know through here and then i'll yeah. go ahead and close out that room okay absolutely i know you uh advertised us to being on here so if students do have questions or they do want to do just like a personal video session with me or call or email me you can give them my information i'd be more than happy to talk to them since i'm not Fantastic. really hiring anyone anyways so if Fantastic. someone's disappointed, they didn't get to talk to me today, by all means, you can give them my information. I'd be happy to talk anytime. Excellent. Thank you so much, Courtney. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's no problem. I'll stay on for about 10 more minutes to see if any of the students okay. hop in. But if not, then I'm probably going to get off. Completely understand. Like I said, just let me know so I can close out your room if you do decide okay. to do that, okay? Yeah. All right, let's see if I can get back into my breakout. Yeah, that's my radio playing.
I think I'm going to hop off for now. Again, if anyone needs to contact me or wants to have their own little session with me and just talk about the field or anything, by all means, you can give them my information. Will do. Thank you so much, Courtney. I hope you have a great yeah. rest of your day. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Of course. You take care. You too. Bye. Bye-bye. Hello there to the individual that I see is unmuted. I saw you try to join the US Fish and Wildlife Services room. Unfortunately, that uh, rep did hop off the call a little bit early. Uh, so they are not on the line. Just wanted to let you know that.
Okay, welcome back everyone. I think we have everyone in that we do still have on the session from the breakout rooms. Uh, so unfortunately, we obviously didn't see the attendance numbers that we you know, were hoping to get. Nevertheless, uh, I do have the registration information for everybody that registered for this event. So I will be forwarding that information on to the folks over at Spoon River College to distribute to the employers on the line. The only other thing that I'd like to note before we wrap things up here today is that the session has been recorded and I will be uploading it to the Illinois WorkNet YouTube channel within 48 hours for folks to be able to access this recording as well. Um, again, please be on the lookout for that uh, registration information that I'll be forwarding on to the folks at Spoon River College if you are an employer. Again, we hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you all for attending. Much appreciated. Take care, everybody.